Cornea app. Cornea acquisition. Starting the examination. Use the joystick to align the camera laterally. Carefully move the camera towards the patient's eye. Align the camera so that the cornea and the corneal reflex are within the dashed box. Ask the patient to blink and then refrain from blinking for a few seconds. Realign the camera if needed and press the joystick button to start acquisition. Keep the device as still as possible. Examination stops automatically. Acquisition quality. After the examination process is completed, the acquisition quality is checked. To display the detailed acquisition quality results, click Show Details. For more information, click Info button below. Check that the camera image is sharp and the pupil and or white to white boundaries are acceptably segmented on the infrared camera image. Check topographic data for missing information. Review the segmentation of the OCT section image. If the boundary of the anterior corneal surface is not correctly detected, please re-examine the patient. To acquire additional images, tap New Acquisition. Cornea Analysis Single OD OS view. Select and review a colour map in the drop down list. For example, anterior curvature and elevation maps, posterior curvature and elevation maps, PA ratio map, pachymetry, total corneal power. More section, basics tab. Various parameters can be superimposed as overlays on images and color maps. Select the checkbox next to the overlay. Find the overlay checkboxes next to the parameters on the various tabs in the more section at the bottom of the single ODOS view. Switch the unit of measure from millimetres to diopter or vice versa by a right click anywhere in the window. More section, Ectasia tab. Basic Ectasia parameters are available in the Ectasia tab. For more information on score values, see the section Ectasia view. More section, epithelium tab. Choosing epithelial thickness or stromal thickness map automatically selects epithelium tab. Epithelial thickness parameters as well as stromal thickness parameters are available in the Cornea app if the license for the epithelial thickness module is available. In the epithelium tab, epithelial and stromal parameters are displayed. Select rings or zones from the drop down list at the top to specify the segment type and to have the corresponding parameters displayed. Some of the epithelial thickness parameters can be shown as overlays on the color maps. To do so, select the checkbox next to the name of the parameter. To display the stromal thickness map, Select it in the drop down list. More section, segments tab. To display the rings or zones on the color map, check the checkbox next to the drop down list or at the bottom of the map. Find the values in the Segments tab. Select Half Meridians or Full Meridians for the overlay. 
Alternatively, open drop down list and select whether the values and overlay should be displayed for rings or zones. More section, Wavefront tab. Choosing Wavefront colour map automatically selects the Wavefront tab. Select the diameter and the centre of the region of interest, ROI. Various parameters can be considered to create the Wavefront colour map. Select or deselect the checkbox next to the Wavefront parameter. Lower order aberrations, LOA, or higher order aberrations, HOA, can be selected. Find the RMS values in the Wavefront tab. Compare values of anterior corneal wavefront and total corneal wavefront. Compare colour maps of anterior corneal wavefront and total corneal wavefront. Select the map in the drop down list. Prior selected parameters are carried over. More section, Images tab. Various parameters can be superimposed as overlays on the images by selecting the checkbox next to the overlay. Drag and drop to move the A scan. Watch the aligned cursor in the B scan overlay superimposed on the colour map. Scroll through the different B scans. Alternatively, click the backward or forward symbol on the B scan slider. Both eyes view. The examination of the other eye, if it has been performed on the same day, is automatically pre selected in the selected series section. Values for ODOS and the ODOS difference are displayed in the More section in all tabs. The ODOS difference map shows the difference between the examination series of the right eye and the left eye. Adjust the colour map in the drop down list. Follow up view. When you switch to the follow up view from another view and an examination tab was selected, the select series section displays up to five of the patient's last examinations that were made on different days, as well as any previously selected older exams. In the more section, the values in all tabs will be displayed for baseline follow up and the follow up baseline difference. Let's minimise the More tab and have a closer look on the maps. Trend Analysis Graph is available for three or more selected series performed on different days. To exclude series from the analysis, click the entry in the Select Series section. Click the entries of the desired series to be included in the Trend Analysis. To change the baseline series for the difference map and more section, click the thumbnail of the baseline series and then click the thumbnail desired to be the baseline. Select the key parameter for progression or follow up maps in the drop down lists. Multi view. If you want to see different colour maps at the same time, click the multi button in the menu bar to open the multi view. Either the standard templates or custom templates can be used to analyse the data. By default, six templates are available on every workstation. For example, Cornea Refractive 1 to view different corneal maps of the same eye at the same time. Templates also can be created and saved. Select how many maps should be displayed in the template. To change a colour map, open the drop down list above the desired colour map and select the desired colour map. Camera image 
or OCT section image. Select the checkbox of the desired overlay for this template. Select the desired tab in the More section. To save the changes, click the disk symbol and enter the desired name of the template. Then click Save. On all workstations in the network, the new template can now be selected from the template drop down list. It is possible to select a default layout to appear automatically when opening the Cornea app. Save desired view and respectively the desired template as default. Ectasia view. Possible ectatic changes in the Cornea can be analysed in the Ectasia view. This view focuses on the parameters that are suspected to be indicators for ectatic changes in the cornea and it provides specialised viewing tools for a quick visual assessment of the relevant parameters. Ectasia view first visit. If examinations of the left and right eye were performed within 24 hours, the newest examination of the other eye is automatically selected and marked by a red frame. The differences in measurements between the examinations are displayed on the Parameters tab. The Colour Map section and the Score tab display the measurements of the examination that is highlighted in red. Ectasia View – Colour Maps In the Colour Map section, review the colour maps. The colour maps available by default are the ones considered most helpful in assessing ectatic changes. If you want to use another colour map for analysis, select it from the drop down list above the colour map. You can change the default set of colour maps that is displayed when you open the Ectasia view. To do so, change the default Ectasia map setting in the default settings. Ectasia view, first visit parameters tab. On the parameters tab in the more section, Review the measured values for ODOS and the ODOS difference. To deselect an examination, click on the green eye icon. To select another possibly available examination at the same day, click the black eye icon, which makes it turn green. Ectasia view, first visit, score tab. In the Score tab, review the measurements and parameters. The score value is calculated from the shown parameters that are suspected to be discriminant topographic indices for the ectatic changes in the cornea. The score bar visually locates the score value on a colour scale bar with a value range from minus 4 to 20. The black oval symbol on the score bar indicates the position of the score value on the score bar. A score value below zero indicates not to very low probability of ectatic changes and is assigned to the colour green. A score value of zero and higher is an indicator for possible ectatic changes. The higher the value, the higher the probability of ectatic changes. Score values of zero and higher are assigned to the colour range yellow to red. The radar map shows six corneal indices that are suspected to be indicators for corneal steepening, corneal thinning or both, such as in ectasia. The colours in the radar map correspond to the colours in the score bar. The expansion of the coloured areas towards the arrowheads illustrate how high the values are. The more colours are displayed in the radar map and the further the coloured areas extend to the arrowheads, the higher the probability of ectatic changes. The average pachymetry graph shows the patient's mean corneal thickness towards the thinnest point. The green curve represents the mean thickness plus minus two standard deviations of non-ectatic cornea. Each dot on the white line curve illustrates the mean concentric thickness of the patient's cornea at the corresponding measurement point on the x-axis. The white line shows interpolated values. 
The relative pachymetry graph shows the relative thickness difference of the patient's cornea related to the thinnest point. You can change the default Ectasia tab that is displayed when you open the Ectasia view. To do so, choose between parameters and score in the default settings. Ectasia view follow-up visits. When you open the Ectasia view for the first time, the following examinations are pre-selected in the Select Series section. The examination you selected in HiX2, up to four of the latest examinations performed at different visits. The examination you selected in HiX2 is automatically selected as the follow-up examination and is highlighted in red in the analysis window. The oldest of the pre-selected examinations is automatically selected as the baseline examination and is marked by a red frame. The differences in measurements between follow-up and the baseline examination are displayed on the parameters tab and visualized on the trend tab. The color map section and the score tab Display the measurements of the examination that is highlighted in red in the Select Series section. For more information on score values and colour maps, see the sections Ectasia View and Ectasia View Colour Maps. A comparison of left and right eye is no longer displayed in Parameters tab of Ectasia View once a follow up examination of the same eye has been performed at a different visit. For comparison of left and right eye in a follow-up examination, switch to OU view and select the Ectasia tab in the More section. Ectasia view, follow-up visits, parameters tab. On the parameters tab, review the differences in the measured values between the baseline and follow-up examination. The oldest of the examinations selected in the Select Series section is automatically selected as Baseline Examination and is marked by a red frame. If the automatically selected examination is not the Baseline Examination you want, deselect the examinations you do not want to use as a Baseline Examination until the examination you want to use as a Baseline Examination is the oldest of the selected examinations. Click the green eye icons of the regarding examinations to deselect them. To select another follow-up examination, click the date of the examination you want to use as the new follow-up examination. The examination will be highlighted in red. Ectasia view, follow-up visits, trend tab. On the Trend tab, assess how the measurements have changed over time. The Trend Analysis graphs on the left show the change of measurements for the examinations selected in the Select Series section for curvature, maximum elevation and pachymetry. All examinations marked with the green eye icon in the Select Series section are included in the Trend Analysis graphs. For each trend analysis graph, you will find a difference colour map that shows the differences between the follow-up and the baseline examination. To add an examination to the trend analysis graphs, click the black eye icon in the examination in the select series section. The button turns green, which indicates that the examination is selected for the trend analysis graphs. To remove an examination from the trend analysis graphs, click the green eye icon in the examination in the select series section. The button turns black, which indicates that the examination is not included in the trend analysis graphs. For the curvature trend analysis graph, you can display the maximum or mean curvature by selecting Kmax or Kmean from the drop down list above the trend analysis graph. To switch the unit of measure in the curvature trend analysis graph and the curvature specific colour maps, right click anywhere and select the unit of measure from the context menu. To display the exact values of an examination illustrated in the trend analysis graphs, 
hover the mouse pointer over the corresponding dot on the curve. In Score tab, you see the analysis for the examination highlighted in red in the Select Series section. For more information, watch Ectasia View First Visit. Reports Views that have been customised in the analysis window can be printed as a report. Select Report and the preview window is displayed. Print the template report as seen on screen or select another template in the drop down list in the top left hand corner of the displayed report. Reports can be saved as PDF, PNG or JPEG files in the file system or as a DICOM report in the Hayex database.